Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm hoping in the next seven minutes to change rather a fundamental concept which we have heard for many years now. Currently, pathological complete response to chemotherapy given before surgery is considered a gold standard. I would like to believe that in seven minutes, I would like to put it to rest and explain, I'm going to explain how. So back five years ago, more than five years ago, we wrote this paper in the BMJ in which we suggested that we should rethink whether new adjuvant chemotherapy should be given for breast cancer at all. And we had explained it in very clear reasons why it was increasingly being used despite a higher local recurrence rate with no survival benefit. Why was it so? It's because we started seeing dramatically improved pathological complete response with newer drugs. And it looked as if this must make a difference. However, several studies have now shown that improved PCR does not translate into overall survival benefit, even in an adjuvant setting where the tumor burden is lower. And these data, therefore, challenge window of opportunity studies. And we said new adjuvant chemotherapy may not be beneficial and we should reduce its use. And one of the points I want to tackle here is the belief in pathological complete response is a blind faith, and that's what I'm going to show now. So this was a study in pertuzumab adding to her, her, uh, Herceptin, and we got doubling of pathological complete response rate, yet when it was tested in adjuvant setting, there was no improvement in overall survival. And this was not just an isolated setting. In bevacizumab, lepatinib, and affinity trials, all of them had fantastic PCR rates, but no improvement in survival. And this was commissioned by FDA because they started getting pharmaceutical industry wanting to approve drugs based on PCR, and they found a flat line. A flat line means there should have been a 45 degree line, direct correlation between improved pathological pre response rate to overall survival improvement, and it was flat. That just showed that improvement of pathological complete response rate because of one drug over the other actually doesn't translate into overall survival benefit of that drug over the other drug. It doesn't even help us. It doesn't improve improving of breast conserving surgery rates. So even that, it's not good enough. And the Oxford overview showed that not only does it increase local recurrence rate, it may in increase mortality by about 1%, but there was no power to show that. Yes, it is beneficial when cancers are inoperable or if they're too big to reduce the size to improve breast conserving surgery rates. That it does, but to some, some extent. Now, why might it be the case? First part is response in the breast doesn't it correspond to response in distant disease because those cells are probably quite different from the cells in the breast. So you're testing the wrong petri dish. And this is a separate talk. You can have a scan of that QR code to listen to my 20 minute talk on that. But the second part is what I'm going to tackle now, is assessment of pathological complete response is a myth. So we asked a question, how much tissue can a pathologist really estimate? And I would like to remind everybody this talk is uh, authored by me, Professor Michael Dweck, and uh, Dr. Nerurkar, who is head of pathology at the Royal Marsden. So we asked the holy grail. So this is a section of tissue, one slice on a microscopy slide. Two, two centimeters by two centimeters by four microns. Now, if you multiply the three, you get 0 0.0016 cubic centimeters. So, to examine one centimeter cubic centimeter of tissue, you would require one divided by 0 0.0016, 625 sections. To examine a four centimeter tumor, you would require 20,944 sections, which, taking normal routine uh, examination time, would be about three and a half years. So, assuming that as many as 20 sections are taken of the tumor bed by the pathologist, a very meticulous pathologist, it would take, they would examine 0.095% of the tumor. So routinely, one in 1,000 of the tumor bed is really examined by the pathologist. So if you haven't paid attention to the mathematics, just see that there are too many sections to examine, and therefore only one in 1,000th of the specimen is actually examined. So the assessment of pathological complete response is a myth. If pathology only examines 1,000th of tumor, how can they be sure that there is no viable cancer cell in the remaining 99.9% .9 of the tumor? If they see one cell, they'll say it's not a complete response. But how can they vouch for 99.9% .9 of the tumor bed when they only examined, very meticulously, 1,000th of the specimen? Now, we all see this in an MDT. When we get clear margins, we all get very 
claps. So it's very nice for surgeons. And this used to happen routinely 20 years ago. But now we know that margin clearance is also a nebulous concept given how much the pathologist can examine. But we still get the claps. And what used to happen when we say, let us give adjuvant chemotherapy, yeah, you won't see a response. You, may, you will save lives. We know that from randomized trials. But so what? Give adjuvant chemotherapy. But when you give new adjuvant chemotherapy, there is a chance, 30 to 50 percent of the times, when pathologists, the, when the medical oncologists will get claps. But these claps are under false premise. That is what I want to say here, because 99 percent of the and 9 percent of the tumor has not been examined by the pathologist. So for a medical oncologist, new adjuvant chemotherapy converts what you see on the left, Dr. House, to Simon on the right when you have pathological complete response. So might this false claps be a motivation to give new adjuvant chemotherapy? I would never say that's possible, but that's a question. So at least PCR should not guide further treatment or non-treatment. So I would like to conclude that our data gives abundant reason to abandon the blind faith in complete pathological response. Thank you very much.